This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD pick of the week. I'm a person who believes that DVDs make wonderful gifts. Blu-rays make wonderful gifts as well. And today I'm going to do the first of three segments in which I'm going to highlight things that I've squirreled away for the course of the year, things that I think will make great holiday presents. Today, the DVDs I've selected are early work by great artists, a chance to see people before they became the most celebrated people on the planet were just up and coming people who had great gifts and were able to do great work. The first one I want to mention is the Apu Trilogy, the first three films by the great Indian director Satyajit Rai, became one of the world's most celebrated filmmakers. He started with these three films about a small boy's life in India. They're world classics. It was feared for many years that the, all the negatives had been destroyed in a fire, but the people at Criterion have managed to put the films together again from existing sources, and it's really wonderful to have them to view one more time. Okay. The second is early work by James Dean. James Dean is best known for his theatrical films, for films like East of Eden, Rebel Without a Cause, and Giant. He had a long career on live television before he broke into film, and this collection has all his TV work on three separate discs. That's how much TV work he did. It's fascinating to see him so young and so vibrant. Oh, it shows how weak we all are without the master. Not one of us is without blame, save John here who would have followed the master's very footsteps. And I praise him, although he seeks no praise. I am not worthy to be your leader. And why such a one, weak as I was appointed, I have never ceased to wonder. Perhaps Jesus is teaching us still that we are weak, that we may be strong, like the seed growing secretly of which the master spoke. Yesterday's events I watched from afar, having already denied the Lord. But John was strong, as was Mary, his mother. And from them I borrow strength that is not my own. We must counsel together what to do. My personal favorite of the three, I think, is William Gillette in Sherlock Holmes. This is an early film not for William Gillette, but an early film for Sherlock Holmes. This is not the first time, but one of the very first times that Sherlock Holmes was put on film. What makes this film so special is A, it was believed lost for decades, and B, William Gillette is the person who on stage created the Sherlock Holmes character that we know and love so well, complete with a pipe and a hair stalker cap. No one has ever seen his theatrical performance before. It had been filmed and thought lost. The film was discovered in an archive. It's been restored. And if you love Sherlock Holmes, and you should, this is a chance to see the really paradigmatic performance that helped make Sherlock Holmes the character we know and love today.